We'll be catching up with Andrew Pumphrey this morning from Oz Orem. Andrew, morning. Good morning, Andrew. Great to see you, and thanks for the opportunity to speak with you this morning. Well, big updates. This uh, potential niobium discovery at the, the Solitaire project. Uh, tell us a bit more about this. Oh, look, it's really exciting. Um, I was up there about two months ago walking around with our gamma ray spectrometer. Um, this was an area that was originally identified um, by Dr. Neil Pendock by remote imaging. So he basically um, found, a, I think it's about seven UV targets that sort of lit up this area. So I went up there and did ground truthed it. Took five source samples initially. Um, we released those results to the market um, and they came back with elevated novium compared to all our others. So the, so the background, I think the last value we got out of that first program was about 25 parts per million niobium. And um, we were getting up to almost 200 um, from this, what we call target one. So target one um, is adjacent to an existing, large existing carbonatite. It's quite well known called um, the Salatair. So basically the next stage of that was to put an infill drilling, uh, infill soil sampling program over that area of 100 metres by 100 metres. So we went up there and did that, um, and now we're releasing those results, and they've come back really well. And basically it's defined um, novium anomalism over a one kilometre square area. What's really exciting about it is that we've actually seen coincident um, other elements associated with that anomaly, which basically follow that pattern. So there's some um, elements that are immobile and irregular. So you know, past life, I did a lot of geochemistry. Um, with geochemistry, certain elements will actually get washed through the regular profile and moved around a lot. They're quite mobile. But niobium, hafium, thorium um, are immobile, which means they basically sit over top of something. Mm. Whatever, where are these niobium anomalism is coming from? It's not far from where we are, you know, like so... We don't know exactly what style of mineralisation will be or anything about it because it's soil cover, there's no outcrop, there's no nothing. And that sort of leads me on to the next point is that um, there's one niobium mine in Brazil, which is quite unusual to all the others. That's called the Boa Vista Mine. Now, I've been up and visited that. I haven't actually actually been on site, but I've driven 100 metres away from it and all around it and had a really good look at that and an adjoining um, project that I have in mind called the Morrow. And... They basically, there's no surface expression there. There's no topographical expression of the carbonatite. There's nothing. So it's quite an unusual deposit. And if I'm trying to make an analogy, I sort of feel that um, this target one, because we don't have any surface expression, we don't know what we're dealing with. So, um, you know, the only way we're going to really work this thing out properly is to do some diamond drilling and have a look at some core. So you're planning a couple, as you say, a couple of uh, diamond holes. Uh, what are the plans? Yeah, look, our next stage of um, work on that project will mobilise a company-owned diamond drill and um, diamond drill crew up to site. And um, look, they'll start drilling, um, you know, two diamond holes. So targeting the geochem highs. So there's two geochem high areas. There's one to the north and one to the south. So what I'm thinking about at the moment is probably two 200-metre holes, angle holes, drilling back underneath those anomalies and just let's look at the rocks and let's see what the regolith is doing and we'll learn a lot about that and hopefully make a major discovery. Mm. <laughs> That's the plan. But it's a pretty exciting target. Like it all, like when I look at it, we've got, we start off our high gamma ray readings, our first lot of soil sampling came back well, a second lot of soil samplings come back the same or better um, and basically is originally identified by this UV um, anomalism. So, with the UV, that's actually picking up fluoride. That's what causes the um, ultraviolence fluorescence that they can pick up, which Dr. Neil Pendock picked up, and he's an expert. He does this stuff all around the world. But the, the fluoride is actually intimately associated with carbonatites. We know that. That's a known, um, I suppose, geological sort of um, aspect of Brazil carbonatites is that you will see fluoride in them. So, look, it's ticking all the boxes at the moment. The next stage is go and drill the holes. So um, I'm hoping to get up there in the next uh, three or four weeks when we start drilling and be on site while we're doing that drilling and um, run around and look at some other opportunities while I'm up there too. So, yeah, exciting times. And, Andrew, you've also got the, the Cataleo project uh, pretty close by. 
to solitude. Yeah, look, Catalo is another, uh, it's probably about 60, 60, 70 kilometres north. Um, again, we've got a big area pegged up there. We've done some early work on one of the circular features that we um, identified off our off my desktop study in Kalgoorlie here. So, look, there's some more work to do up there, um, do some more soil sampling up there. We didn't really get a chance to look at that properly last time, but um, that's definitely what we Future work plan there too, and that's actually where the Boa Vista Niobium mine is. So, um, yeah, look, it's all pretty exciting, actually. Like, it's a great province to be in, and um, further down to the south is the Araxa, which uh, mine that produces about 80% of all the world's niobium. So um, there's a big treatment plant on site there at Cataleo up to the north as well. So lots of good infrastructure. If you find something, um, you know, all the it's a place you can do work on. So, you know, like it's, it's, it's an easy jurisdiction from that point of view. And look, Andrew, just while I've got you, what's the, the current focus of work at Mulgabi North? Oh, look, I've identified these new fault um, targets, which will follow up with smart sea drilling. I'm not sure when, but um, that's definitely in the pipeline. Obviously, line hydrogen. Um, I'm really busy working on the ground with them just on this fees study. So, there's a whole series of works that we've started and some that will get underway. We've got to do some geotech drilling. Um, we're going to do some more MET test work. We've got some heritage surveys to do. Um, there's a whole stack of work streams um, involved in that fee study. So I'm sort of working pretty hard in the background on that as well with Brendan James. So, yeah, it's moving along quite nicely. And the gold price is looking fantastic. So it's a great time to be in gold. Exactly. Uh, Andrew, good to catch up with you. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much for your time this afternoon.